Okay, let's get started. I'm going to break this tutorial up into two videos. One is primarily to get our Grails application up and running with at least one domain object and install the Dojo JavaScript libraries. The second part will be actually utilizing what we've set up in video one. Uh, so for those who already understand Grails, you might want to just zip through it and see how I just installed the Dojo libraries and then move on to video two. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our Grails application. And right now I'm just literally in my C drive. So I'm going to create it off my C drive for those Windows users. And run a Grails uh, create app. I'll call it our Dojo test app. Oops, I don't want that. Spell it. Create a quick uh, domain object. Oops, I gotta change directory into it. Custom. Uh, I'll let Grails select the default package for me. Okay, let's go add a couple properties to our customer domain object. To our domain package, and there's our customers. Let's vi customer. Let's add a couple properties. String of first name, string of last name, and maybe their age. Now we're just going to quickly use the defaults of Grails and have them build all our scaffolding for us. So they're going to create our controllers for us, they're going to create our views for us, uh, just for demonstration purposes. root of our project. Uh, so we're going to say Grails generate all for dojo test app. Our package dot customers our domain object. Let's see if that works. successfully works. From here, let's just start up our application, make sure that everything's running as expected. And we'll see what Grails gave us as our, our default scaffold. up it started on this URL here and if I click this is what Grails gave us as our default scaffolding here's our controller so we can literally go in select that we got our age our first name our last name the, the database ID for that record let's just make sure it works by creating new I'm gonna make somebody 44 years old this guy's name is Jimmy Johnstone. Let's create it. Go back to our customer list. There's our record that we just created. We can select it. We can delete it. So far, so good. Okay. So next, we have to um, install our Dojo libraries. So uh, 
I've downloaded it uh, and dropped it into uh, a directory on my temp uh, and it's and it's uh, dojo release 1.5.0 so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go to our dojo test app and under web app you're going to find a javascript directory and I'm going to paste it in there looks like it's about 11 megs if you wanted the full dojo library Okay, so from here, I think we're ready to start video number two. We have created our Grails application. We've created a domain object called customer. We've given customers some properties and we've now installed the Dojo toolkit into our Grails application. Second video, we're gonna actually start utilizing some of those components. So. On to that next video.